and welcome back to Teacher Time's Tutorials. Sorry it's been such a long time since uh, we last got together, but it is the end of the school year. We've got, what, um, four and a half school days left. Not that anyone's counting, but been kind of busy around here. Anyway, I thought I'd come back and uh, visit and let you in on a little fun thing that I did with Edmodo, which had an unexpected result. So I was really kind of excited about it, and I wanted to share. Uh, before I go any further, though, i got to give you what is a fashion update. This is not a, not a pleasant fashion update, I must say. So if you're a little squeamish, you might want to turn your head. But I was up in the Muskoka region of Canada. Uh, if, do you know where that is? Let me, hold on, hold on. I'll show you. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bazang! Yeah, okay. So, um, Muskoka region here is Michigan. And if you travel up there uh, a little bit north of Toronto, about two hours. Anyway, that's your Muskoka region. And you will find that is the home of Algonquin Park. It is the home of Camp Tamaqua in Algonquin Park. And it's also the home of Uncle Andy's Cabins, one of my very favorite places to be. Uh, well, but unfortunately, my fashion update is not about those things, but it's about these things. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh, that was particularly painful. Yes, these fashion updates are brought to you by this little... B b wait, nope, family show. By this little female, if you will. This is the uh, Muskoka Skeeter, taken here actual size. Um, she took a little dab off of me, and I will tell you that this was the actual size after I got finished with her. I, uh, I don't deal with mosquitoes very well, but anyway... Back to our Edmodo. Hey, I was really pleased with an assignment that I did. Um, and it was actually the follow-up to an assignment that I did. So let me share that with you. If you look on the screen here, it, it's, it says, or the assignment was, how would you assess our writing? And I asked the students to take a look at what all of their peers had written. So I did have a previous assignment, and I'll scroll down here a little bit, previous assignment where students had to write about the girls of the world. I really like this assignment, by the way, too. I called it Girl Power, as you can see, and then I found a couple of pretty neat articles on CNN, uh, one by the author Christian. Christine, I think, Amanpour, um, about empowering girls in the world. And then I gave, you know, it was a couple other little follow-up stories, so you might want to check that one out too. But I had students kind of write an open letter to the females of the world, and I had them post it so that everybody can can read it. So you can see all of their, all of their um, different takes, if you will, on girls of the world and how we need to educate them in, in all different places. So I got really good writing out of these kids, and I was really pleased with that. But even better, so let me scroll back to the top here. Even better was the follow-up assignment that I again, again called, How Would You Assess Our Writing? So this one, I had them... I assigned them the task of going back through and reading all of the paragraphs that were written by their peers. So they really got a good chance to see what is it that the other students are writing. I asked them to assess sort of in general terms what they felt like uh, the level of writing was for this particular 7th grade group, and then I asked them to sort of rate themselves. Where, where do they feel like that they fell, um, and where do you think that they assess themselves? I'll come back to that one at the end. But one of the things I really found of great value here, let me, I'm going to show you a couple of things that some of the students said. So, for example, here is one student, and I really liked what China had to say. Uh, she says, when well, she started off about you know being average or, or above average, uh, I think this because everyone is using amazing word choice, which is a good language arts term there, and I like that she recognized that. Uh, able to make things flow, easy to read and understand. Um, after also reading these, uh, you notice all of them have examples from the stories we read, making the information seem very true. Then again, we can all do this because Mrs. Mays has helped us out. So throw it on a prop there to our fine language arts teacher. Um, that's what one student had to say. Let's take a look at Nishan's. What did Nishan say? Um, thought we were around average, but... Um, I think he and they, they were supposed to assess themselves as well. And he says, I put myself at average as well because I think my essay was better than some other people's. But I also saw some paragraphs that were much better than mine, like arms. I'm proud of my piece because I tried my best on it. And it was a very good writing. So they were able to look at their own writing and look at some others and point out some, some friends of theirs that, hey, this, this, is a, this is a better piece of writing than I expected. And so I like how students were able to 
you know, kind of see where they stood. So let's take a look at another one. Dineker, what did he have to say? Uh, actually quite impressed with my own writing. Uh, sometimes I make grammatical errors. I just go off topic. Um, sometimes the class's writing, I feel, doesn't flow. Some people just list stuff and they don't, like, make a story or sometimes they have grammatical er errors. So, you know, again, I, I like that they're sort of able to see what is some of the some of the problems that we have in our writing. Let's take a look here at another student. Here's Emily. What did Emily have to say? I love this. She said, uh, I think everyone did a great job at expressing their thoughts and opinions. Many of them really captured my attention. So I think that's, you know, I think that's an impressive piece for a seventh grade student to look at another student's writing and to be able to say that. What about Katie? Katie had some good stuff to say, too. Um, after reading The Girl Power, I found many little errors that are easily fixable and lazy. Some of those errors were in my own paragraph. I think that I, uh, that I stand very close to an average writer. I think if I take more time, took more time, and paid more attention to my grammar and spelling, I would be closer to above average than I am now. Um, and, and again, I, I love that. She saw some errors that were truly lazy and then saw those in her own writing. And again, when, when you're able to step back a bit, I think that's uh, a good skill for these kids. Um, maybe two more. Let's take a look at Manav. What did Manav had to say? Um, let me skip down here to some good part. Uh, I'm proud of these pieces overall. They're really good, and I wish everyone could read these and be inspired. The one thing I really like about these pieces is that you aren't just making up some story. Uh, instead, you are writing something important, and you can't learn that. Inspiration comes for the heart, I think you meant to say from the heart, and can't be learned, but it can be spread. This is why I like this piece. We are inspiring others, and nothing could be better. And last, let's take a look at what Joy had to say. So I'll zoom down here to Joy. Um, she's one of my very strong writers. She says, in my opinion, I believe our, our level of writing for girl power is pretty awesome. Um, let me zoom down. Writing is mature, well thought out. I like how many people included some facts from the article to support their paragraph. Also, I noticed that some people have a really weak ending, and I agree that we could work more on the conclusion to make the reader think more about it after reading the letters, and I also think we could use more transition words. So, you know, again, I, I think it gives the students, or this assignment gave the students a chance to go back and really think about uh, their own writing and about the, the writing of their peers and, and, and forcing them to see what others are writing, I really think it's going to help make them stronger writers. The only thing that I wish I would have done differently is assign something like this earlier, so I definitely will get at that next year. Um, and I'm going to make this one a very brief lesson, and that's all I wanted to share today. Uh, I do have two more little pieces. One is this. I decided to go with the visuals. Do you like the visuals today? So I'm saying, hey, follow me. Follow me, if you will. And this is where you can find me. So that's about it. Thank you for joining us here, and I appreciate you coming in. Back other time to see us. Maybe we'll have better fashion updates than these miserable things. Thanks again for checking in. Take care. See you. Bye. Adios.